I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to Global Learning. In this series, we have taken up many questions from test papers. These test papers are from some international board or exams. And the idea is to learn from these questions. Here is a question from Cambridge IGCSE Additional Mathematics. It is question number three, paper 2017 year. We'll talk about small increments and approximations. So the major question here is, the variables x and y are such that y equals to ln x squared plus one. Find the expression for dy dx, hence, Find the approximate change in y when x increases from 3 to 3 plus h, where h is small. Now, in my series, you learn more than you can learn anywhere else that is guaranteed. So, how do we make the difference? When we look at the question, we know this question has already come. So, next time, if something like this is there in the test, we should be able to tackle it. So the idea is to understand the function as a whole and then answer. So I hope that approach will help you. Now for IGCSE students and as for many of my high school students, it is a question which belongs to calculus, derivatives and applications. So we look at it from that point of view. So we are given a function y which is basically ln x square plus 1. Now this is a very important function. It has no restriction in the domain and how about the range? Well the range is greater than or equal to 0 for this particular function, right? And if you have to sketch it, how will it look like? Well ln function will be like this, square means everything and square plus 1 means everything after 0, right? And the lowest value for this ln function will be when x is 0, which is ln 1, which is 0, right? So at 0, it is 0. So the function basically is kind of like this. Do you see that? So that is how this function is going to look like. It has to be symmetric about your y-axis and it will look like this. You might be asked to find first, second derivatives and sketch the graph for this in some test, right? So that is how it could be related in many different ways. So I hope you understand the concept. Now, let's also look into the solution. The variable x and y are such that y is equal to this. Find the expression dy dx. Okay, so that is not so difficult. We have the function which is y equals to ln x squared plus 1. So dy dx is what? Derivative of ln is 1 over this, right, which is, this comes in the denominator, plus the derivative of inside function, which is 2x. So we get that derivative. So that part is done, right? Now, the question is, hence find the approximate change in y when x increases from 3 to 3 plus h. So we want to find increase in y, approximate change in y. What does that mean? So that brings us to this unit on small increments and approximation. Now for some of you, this may be a new concept and therefore I'll kind of uh, elaborate on this. So let us say we are looking for some value 3, which is somewhere here, let us say. Okay, so I'll just draw this line. This line represents what for me? It represents dy dx. Okay, now we want to find this derivative at the point which is which is 3 for us, right? So, so at x equals to 3. So let's figure this out. So what is dy dx when x equals to 3? So substitute 3 here. So we get 2 times 3 over 3 square plus 1 and that gives you 6 over 10. So this is the value of the derivative at x equals to 3. Now when we say that we want to find approximate change in y, right? so that means we really want delta y, approximate change in y 
when x increases by h right so we are basically interest, interested in dy delta y delta x when when x delta x is equals to h and h is approaching zero right that is what we are interested in well from definition we know this should be dy dx when x is approaching zero right we already have dy dx well this is not y this is x right so we already have dy dx at x equals to 3 which is 6 over 10 you could simplify this anyway we'll leave it like this so on the graph what are we trying to figure out we're trying to figure out that if i take a point i'll take farther away just to show you the difference here let's say we take a point here which is delta x away right so that means this point is 3 plus delta x now the actual value here will be this right which is uh, which is uh, i should write f of 3 plus delta x that value correct exact value will be this but what we do in approximation is that we actually consider the point on dy dx and that leads to an error so in this case the error will be that much so this is the error now since there is an error we are calling this as an approximation is that clear so that is the concept behind so when we are trying to figure out the change in y we say well let the change in y be dy by dx at x equals to 3 times that delta x right since we are worried about this point correct so so we get this delta y as we have already calculated this value 6 over 10 and delta x is h for us so we get you can write 0 0.6 h as the change in y so it says hence find the approximate change in y right it's not the final value but just the change in y so actual change in y will be only this much correct however we have reported extra change here right right so our change is this much that includes an error here now i'll provide you with a link where we will also look into we could actually extend this question from here our solution is over but we can extend this to finding different kinds of percentage errors so for that i'm providing you a link i'd like you to go to that link and see how we can calculate different kinds of percent changes in or uncertainties sometimes we say uh, the topic could be uncertainties percent errors or uncertainties which you can see in the link the process of finding it however in this particular case the approximate change in y is going to be 0 0.6 h so that becomes our answer so i hope that helps you to understand the concept behind the question the function as such which is very important since this particular function could have been there in your test paper for a different reason now once you understand it better especially from the graph it becomes simpler so i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best